Hi, good evening. Actually, this is for the students. I uh, said that this book, uh, How Can India Become a Superpower by 2047, uh, is written mainly for the students and youths of India, not only the students of India. And uh, this book uh, will help the uh, students across the world, the youths across the world, the young people across the world. Right. So I have said that um, you know, what a student should do in the uh, 21st century. Right. So Indian students uh, must explore new ways of employment and engagement because now the job opportunities are uh, contracting, right? It's, um, uh, it's uh, shrinking. That's why uh, only the skilled, only the uh, best uh, will be uh, will 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 be empowered. Will get engagement. Will get appointment, right? So that is why we have to develop skills. We have to develop our uh, capacity. We have to develop our uh, our our capabilities, right? Mm, so what we should do now in the 21st century? Uh, so I have told the students in uh, in my book you will find in page number uh, 601. Uh, I have written that uh, students must prepare themselves for coming days, and I told there that uh, Indian students must explore new ways of employment and engagement in the coming decades. Many of the existing jobs will vanish from the Indian market. There is nothing to be worried about that because a lot of new opportunities will engage or will emerge in India. So in a recent article, The Times of India, 30th July 2021, uh, Chondima Banerjee wrote that coal and petroleum are big employers now. Coal and petroleum are big employers now. So India has about 8.6 lakh energy jobs at present. 8.6 lakhs energy jobs. But you see, in which sector? In petroleum sector, right? In coal sector. But many of our students are not studying uh, uh, these subjects. That is why uh, their job, um, uh, what do you say, uh, availability, or uh, they are, uh, you know, they are, they will not be the, as as they are not uh, adept, as they are not skilled, as they are not, um, uh, as they are not uh, enough uh, capable. Uh, they uh, they may not um, get the job. So uh, they have to equip themselves with uh, their with their skill development, right? Okay, but a new study has found that phasing out fossil fuels would add 80 lakh jobs, right, in the energy sector across the world by 2050, of which over 5.4 lakh would be in India. So these are the new fields. Uh, Indian students must think about that now. It is being said that climate action results in more jobs. Recent data show that uh, in the Paris Agreement, target of temperature rises uh, sustained well below 2 degrees of Celsius were met. The number of jobs in India's energy sector would go up from 8.6 lakhs to 14 lakhs by 2050. 14 lakhs by 2050, right? So at the 2050, so these, these are the job opportunities. So you cannot say that there will not be job, there will not be job opportunities, there will not be, uh, what do you say, uh, government jobs, there will not be private jobs. Jobs will be there, jobs were there, jobs are there, jobs will be there. But you have to be capable for that. All right. So at the same time, the Chinese job market will add more than 27 lakh jobs. So the reason uh, behind this job uh, boom, uh, um, what do you say, uh, job augmentation or uh, job increase uh, is low carbon technologies, right? So during the expansion of renewable energy capacity, more job opportunities will be created in India. Further, the report of the United Nations Development Program, UNDP 2016, indicates that between 1991 and 2013, the size of the working age population increased to 300 million, right? So this, the Indian economy could employ only 140 million due to its limited capacity in the job market. So the report estimated that by 2050, at least 280 million people will be entering in the job market. So by 2050, how many people? At least 280 million people will be entering in the job market. So according to the Labor Ministry uh, data, about 1 lakh 1 million people enter the workforce every month in India. How many? 1 million people enter. 1 million people enter in the workforce in India alone. So this has been published in um, Libment uh, and it was written by Mr. on 28th April 2016. You just imagine. So you cannot say that there is no job available. There is job. There are job. There will be job. Okay. So at any given point of time, about 30 million students are studying in Indian higher educational institutions in India. 
how many students 30 million students are studying in higher educational institutions only okay considering the small capacity of employment opportunities only 11 percent in the manufacturing sector the government of india has introduced the make in india project right so no 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 government in, a, in india could um, could 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 uh, employ uh, in government sector these all the all these uh, university and college pass out students it's not possible for any government whosoever may come in power right whatever promises they may give nobody will be able to that is why a, an innovative um, idea that is making india program where the the, the the rural people or the or, or the or the or what is say urbanite people or semi urbanite people they can uh, they can they can um, they can uh, uh, they can make their own uh, what is say uh, business enterprises or business uh, uh, organizations and they can take help from the and they, they might collaborate uh, with the others and um, and, we, uh, and but they will have to uh, manufacture their goods uh, here in india and um, this is uh, a very good initiative by the government of india the world is now moving faster towards automation and machines and human emotions and values are being replaced by machines and robots right so these are the facts of the 21st century you cannot deny that uh, so the coming days will be based on more technology and science if you belong to science and technology if you have studied science and technology then only you can get you can be able to get a job otherwise it's not possible yeah the job you will not be able to apply you can right if you are not uh, if you have not studied stem science technology uh, uh, engineering and mathematics right so the advancement of science and technology will open many job opportunities in the world especially in india so do you know do you find now where is peons uh, peons uh, ring their bells at your doorstep with letters from the relatives and uh, friends no no you will not find because the the mails uh, the mails are coming uh, through electronic mode you will not, you will not find that uh, you are not seeing that the peons are coming from post offices and uh, ringing their bells with their cycles no? so technology has changed technology has changed our uh, life so the po you see the postal letters have been replaced with electronic mail and messages hence learning computers at least ms word excel powerpoint and internet will help will help the students to get jobs so first thing is every student of india who are aspiring to get a job must uh, educate themselves with uh, computer computer and internet what they should know ms word microsoft word excel powerpoint and internet they must know the first thing okay second thing is that people are now getting rich day by day in india they are earning a lot of money and savings a lot also for their purpose for this purpose they need more tax consultants right you know, so people are having money it's not that uh, what um, the financial condition was of average people in india 40 years back uh, it's not like the same People are now having money. People are uh, people are having a lot of money. People are getting a lot of jobs, and people are doing uh, great work. And uh, so they are having money. So definitely, they will have to um, uh, manage their tax. So tax consultants' job will be there uh, in the coming days. Uh, so for this purpose, they need more tax consultants. And the students and students of commerce department, commerce subject, uh, will uh, find many jobs in emerging market and new enterprises being constructed across the country right so banking is always a lucrative job for commerce students and uh, the job market in the banking sector will gradually increase definitely you see there are many foreign banks uh, there are many rural banks there are many other banks coming in india uh, all right and so the so the job opportunities will be uh, will increase for the commerce students those who are doing well Okay, so the Indian banking system is also um, is the world's third largest banking system, right? So, and the establishment of the new PSU banks, uh, public sector undertaking banks will open job opportunities for the students. So, um, you see, uh, actuarial science helps people to decide what will be the uh, insurance premium for uh, what they purchase. So students who are studying maths and science of insurance to assess risk, worth and liabilities would find better job opportunities here in India. Right? So these are the things students should explore. Financial, uh, financial companies, insurance companies and banks would require their expertise uh, to design their investment uh, and, and, and instructions. 
so uh, instruments. So these are the things uh, where the job opportunities will be there, will increase day by day. So financial planners are huge planners uh, have huge demand now, and um, they will grow day by day. Earlier, fixed deposits were the only preferred way of investment, but now the investment, um, now the investment instruments in the market have been increased manifold, right? So everyone needs expert financial advice because many of them have money but they do not know where to invest, how to invest, where the interest rates are um, uh, good, where the risk factors are less. Um, people do not have much time, so they need advisors, right? So these advisory uh, works will be uh, there and uh, will increase gradually and day by day. And not only that, they will clear long-term financial goals and invest in better and safer places for their hard-earned money. So financial planners are the people who keep our money at work to pay us more profit. Right? These are the, they are the financial planners. So financial planners job will be increased day by day. So hence the job of financial planners will increase the increase by thousands every month in India and it might add to one million by the next two and half decades. Two and a half decades. How many? One million. Right. So for designing next, for designing a web and a mobile application, it needs a back-end developer. Right. And so the back-end developer is the core cons computational logic behind the software or the website. Back-end developers majority uh, mainly they work in C++, uh, C, Hash or, J or Java. Every IT company needs back-end developers. And this can be considered as an evergreen job, right? So, uh, but we have, but we have not heard about career counselors in our student life. We have we heard about career counselors now. Nowadays, you will find many career counselors are there. We have not heard about career counselors during our student life. But nowadays, we see career counselors um, uh, in every metropolitan city and in even every subdivisional town also in India. So, expertise in career counseling counseling will give dividend to the students in getting employment or earning a livelihood by setting up their consultancy firms. See the opportunities. So you can explore. Right. The rapid change in the job industry increases the need for career counselors. The US has 2.6 million counselors per 1.8 million candidates. So their number of counselors are more than the number of candidates. While India has only 500 counselors per 1.5 million candidates. You just imagine where they have 2.6 million counselors, whereas uh, we have one point, only 500 counselors per 1.5 million candidates. So you see the difference. So that is why with this is an upcoming market. There is heavy demand, will be heavy demand in, the, uh, in future. Right. So it was found. Uh, uh, found out from uh, data that there is 12 times growth globally in data security jobs. Data security jobs, there are 12 times growth. So it is estimated that there will be around 2 million cyber security professionals by 2047. Data scientists are the upcoming and very lucrative professionals in the world. In India, there is ample scope for uh, very high paid jobs in this sector. Right. So these are the opportunities. These are the opportunities you can explore. Companies are now required uh, to collect, uh, dissect, and analyze various data and interpret and find all information to garner the businesses, right? So digital marketing specialists are highly in demand. Digital specialist marketing um, uh, specialists are highly in demand. Right? So almost all small and mid-sized businesses are now venturing into online space. Everybody is now going online space. Okay, thus the need for digital marketers will continue to rise, making a sphere of great job opportunity. India is a very, um, very highly IT driven sector. India is a very highly IT driven sector. Digital marketing will be the fastest uh, growing career. Digital marketing will be the fastest growing career in India. Okay, so another completely new sector has been created in the Indian market. The drone has emerged as a new device in the world. So India has witnessed the use of drones in agriculture, health, infrastructure, management, disaster, uh, disaster management, aerial photography, and maintaining law and order. So every year, thousands of students are getting employed as drone makers and repairs, right? Like cycle repairing, drone repairing will be necessary. 
drone making, drone repairing will be necessary, right? So these are the new sectors. Earlier we did not even think or imagine. So, uh, so drones are unmanned aerial vehicles mainly used for surveillance, right? So uh, the drone is now uh, confined within the different sector. The local drone market is believed to grow by the end of 2021. So far that it is reported by the business where May 25, 2022, that the global commercial drone market size was estimated at US dollar 14.95 billion in 2021, but uh, in um, uh, 18 point, it has increased to 18.92 billion in 2022. You see the increase, level of increase, how quickly it is increasing, okay, and it is projected to grow at the compound uh, annual growth rate uh, of 26.70% uh, to reach US dollar 61.95 billion by 2027. So it's a huge demand. Okay, there are so many things I will not tell now. Uh, maybe in the next video, and uh, I, and I will tell you to read the book How Can India Become a Superpower by 2047. It is a great book. It is a great book, and it is a great book. You all will be benefited. You all will get impressed by reading this book. The book is available. If you just search it in the Google. How can India become a superpower by 2047 a vision right it has been published by ukoto publishing u k i y o t o u k o t o publishing so in searching google google Be books is also uh, google books are also uh, you know, there so this book is available in amazon this book is uh, available um, uh, on uh, other other sectors this book is available in Denmark it is available in Sweden it is available in, in the Netherlands it is available in China it is available now in um, Japan and definitely all, all those three countries because they have their own offices this Yukoto publishing has their own offices in the USA India and uh, Philippines right uh, so um, all these places you will get this book and I expect that you will buy a book and send me uh, uh, a report and how is the how this video you will tell me in comment box right and uh, i will expect your uh, comment and there are